Hello there and welcome to the EU Observer chat show. Let's talk about EU. Joining me here today to discuss the topic of the political, financial and of course social situation in Greece is Horko Chatsimarkakis, the German Greek MEP from the Aldi Group here in the European Parliament, Niklas Huntis, the Greek MEP from the European United Left Group here in the European Parliament, and Peter van Dalen, the Dutch MEP from the European Conservatives and Reformists. Thank you very much for being here with me this morning. And thank you very much for watching. So without further ado, let's talk about EU. That the Greek Prime Minister George Papandreou's Socialist Party won the key vote of confidence late last night, Greece has the job of pushing through with a tough austerity package that would cut public spending by 28 billion in the next five years, in order, of course, to keep Brussels and the IMF happy. But what about the thousands of Greeks that we've seen protesting on the streets and gathering in Sigma Tagma Square? Who's looking after their interests? And what effect is this whole crisis having on the foundations of the very shaken Eurozone? Let's ask my guests what they think. Now, let's start with you, Mr. Huntis, because you're showing and your party is showing solidarity with the people on the streets. What is your solution to this whole crisis if you don't think that this austerity package should be should be pushed through? I must uh, speak clear. Our solution for this situation in uh, my country is to go to a new election because we believe that all the people that are in the streets and uh, squares must uh, put their opinion uh, political. Now there is uh, only a movement, mm -hmm. but political, uh, uh, we want to know what our citizens believe. But would that be the solution? What do you think? You know, all the parties in Greece, like his party, like all the others, just watch their own interests, party interests. That's totally wrong and irresponsible. Uh, I think uh, we need to give hope to these people. Uh, for one year now, more than one year, we are talking about debt and about cutting and cutting. People don't have hope anymore. We should have talked about uh, an investment plan. Um, and now, only now, Europe starts to talk about how to create new jobs in Greece. Um, I, uh, am something, I have put something on the table called like Hercules plan, like a Marshall plan. Mm -hmm. That's what people need now immediately. And what about you, Mr. Frendalen? What's your thoughts on the whole situation? Well, Looking no from elect new elections would be a very bad signal because you need to act now. And I think it's important that these austerity measures are being taken. But it's not enough. The most important thing is the Greek have such an enormous debt. They can never repay it. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that Europe should do is clean a part of this debt. Let's say about 50 to 60 percent. That's one. Two to make an economical recovery plan uh, so that they can pay back the remaining debt. And three, we need automatic sanction measures because this tragedy should never happen again. Well, the president of the European Commission, Jose Manuel Barroso, has um, some sort of a package up his sleeve, the economic governance package. What do you think of this economic gov governance package that MEPs will soon vote on? What will you vote on this? Um? Uh, we are the only, the only group, I mean GUE, that we will vote uh, against this package because uh, we believe that uh, first it is a more histority pack of stability and the pack of stability for my group uh, was is uh, a dissocial uh, package mm -hmm. and second because all this uh, test uh, it is uh, has the aim to cut the salaries to cut all the social rights and uh, it is a problem for the whole Europe, and I try to answer to Mr. Van Dalen, the problem of debt, it, it is a European problem, it is not a Greek problem only. But the Germans don't want to pay for this problem. What's your perspective? I'm very interested in this. As a Greek, as a German, I mean, you speak in Greek at home, so yes. you understand the Greek people, the mentality, so how do you feel about this? We have to stabilise the euro. Uh, that's very, very important and that's why this uh, economic governance package has a lot of very good elements. But as you said, um, the sanctions have to be automatic and this is not part of this deal and that's why the liberal group uh, in this house uh, won't support this part. The rest is okay if you want, it's a stability pact too. Um, <coughs> but it doesn't help. We need the recovery plan, we need it now, and it has to go parallelly in order not to have a domino effect in the south of Europe. Of if, course. If Greece has these problems, next could be Portugal, already in the rescue mechanisms, and I don't want to talk about other countries, but we have to stop this domino effect. 
But it is important to talk about other countries. I mean, what about other countries? What's, uh, what about the contagion effect that this whole crisis is having, the Greek crisis? Of course, there's a risk of contamination. But Mr. Barroso is doing one thing wrong. He says, let's loan more to Greece and to Portugal. And then there is no possibility for recovery of these economies. So he needs also to make a recovery plan so that they can come over this bad situation. And that is missing in his plans. And on the other hand, there is no automatic sanction. And that is really necessary because when we make sanctions an element in politics, then someone says, well, this is difficult, or another says, it's not enough. The sanctions should be automatic because this tragedy should stop. We should not have it again have this. Okay, let's go now to Sigtagma Square in Greece, where one of our EU Observer crew was just this weekend, last Sunday, and she spoke to some locals there and she took some pictures. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, we want Europe to know that they brought a monetary union before they brought economic union. And what we have is a dysfunctional European family comprised of 25 ministers of uh, exchequer, 25 foreign ministers, 25 prime ministers, instead of having one. And uh, you're obviously going to have conflict of interest. So having a, a single currency is a good idea. It, it, the Romans had it in Europe for a thousand years. And it worked. There's nothing wrong with a single currency. It's good for business. But you cannot have a single currency with 25 different bosses trying to run the show. And uh, we don't want to leave the European Union. We want to fix the European Union. I'm afraid to say this, but maybe the bankruptcy so that that will uh, eliminate and we will come back to drama and then uh, we will suffer for, su for some years, but then I think that uh, the, the development will come. <laughs> There you have it, Syntagma Square, this Sunday. What do you think? Do you agree with the last girl? Do you think that Greece should leave the Euro? Yes, uh, <coughs> this, is, this was a, a, a part of this demonstration, a part of this square, because we have a, a bigger demonstration in the central square. This is, this the is square. just a glimpse. Yes, yeah. till uh, three or four weeks, and it is continuing every day, every day. But the, the, uh, there is the, uh, there is no uh, the only the only square in the Europe. We have uh, people in the square of uh, Spain, uh, France, and so the problem is general. All these people want uh, to have a job, to have rights, to have mm. uh, salary, uh, and uh, I must say that uh, we, we, the Greeks, uh, Greek, we are uh, proud for our country. We ha we work hard. We are not thieves. And we want the support of the European Union in order to have a solution to our problem. Only support, not uh, any th anything uh, else. We well, don't. Uh, but you mentioned the problem is the same, but there is one difference. When I hear these people on the television and I listen to the people on the squares in Madrid and in Athens, they all say Europe is to blame, but they should start first in their own country because many, many years. The countries in the south of Europe, they spend money, they spend money, they spend money, <coughs> and there was no tight budgetary policy, like, for instance, in my country. And now they're going to blame Europe for it. I think that's the wrong position. You should start in your own home to make a clear thing out of this mess and not to blame mm. Europe. I agree. <laughs> I agree in general. But would uh, Chancellor Merkel have said in uh, December 2009, when the whole mm. thing started, listen, uh, we will... Rescue Greece, whatever happens. We wouldn't have had the market reactions. Mm. We wouldn't have had that danger for the euro. Uh, that's why, yes, the mistakes were done in Greece, mm. uh, but the European reaction was not an appropriate one. Uh, if we would have said this as a European Union, you would see that we wouldn't even argue about whether uh, the euro falls, whether Greece has to leave the eurozone or not, or whether the European spirit disappears. And that's the problem that I see now, mm -hmm. that more and more we are discussing about each other nastily, 
using bad words about each other. Um, and this is not okay. Uh, we all fight for a big European idea, for a great idea, uh, and this is in danger now. Well, there we differ, because for me, not the European idea is central. For me, it is we have to cooperate, and when you cooperate, you should take your part in the business. And I'm calling on Greece and on uh, Spain and other countries to take their part in business and not walk away with new elections, but take your responsibility. Yeah, but right. uh, sorry, sorry. It's fine to come there, Mr. Contes, yes. because yes. we're going to have to leave yes. it there. Of course, we have our responsibilities as Greek, as Greek government, as Greek citizen, as Greek political party. All right, it is true. But there is a, a neoliberal frame in the whole Europe. Uh, it is the zone of Euro that... Uh, the country of Mr. D uh, of, uh, Dallen or Germany uh, become stronger because the, uh, Greece is uh, with them. It is, uh, it is uh, an unbalance of all this family. It is uh, a problem and uh, I call Mr. Dallen uh, to mind again that is, we are in the, in the same family. You have uh, your responsibilities. We have our responsibilities and if we, we want a stability and a strong, let's say, euro and a good uh, financial and economical politic policy, we must cooperation. We don't, get, we don't put your citizen again, the Greek citizen, say you are thieves, you spend your money, our money, and we, d we don't give you any money to spend. One, no. one idea to support him. Germany, as the biggest exporter in Europe, the second biggest in the world, profits very much from all these markets. Of course, from the Netherlands, and the Netherlands as well profit from the big market, but from Greece, from Portugal, from Ireland. So, yes, Greeks have to fix themselves the problems, but on the other hand, Germans, Dutch, Finnish, they profit from these markets. They profit from low interest rates that pe make people yeah. buy all these Nokia handies or uh, uh, Dutch butter and Dutch milk. So <laughs> okay, I agree, but you should listen to my opening statements because I said the first thing we should do, apart from these austerity measures, is to take away a part of the Greek debt because Greece yes. can yes. never repay this huge amount yes. of money. So we should clean a part of this debt in cooperation, in combination with the recovery plan, because you need to recover yes. to pay the rest of the yes, debt. Absolutely. So I'm on one thing on your side, I want to help you by cleaning away a part of your debt. But the European Central Bank mm. has so many uh, papers now bought for out of Greece, they are opposing this mm. policy, unfortunately. Yes. Okay, and um, we'll find out more this week when the heads of state from meet here in Thursday in Brussels at the European Council about what the fate is on the second bailout package for Greece. Um, I'd like to thank very much my guests for joining me here today. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching this Let's Talk About EU Greek special. If you have a comment, I do invite you to leave a comment underneath this video. And of course, here at video at euobserver.com. Thank you very much for joining me and thanks for watching. Thank you.